Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. I am in casual clothing with a baseball hat. I'm even unshaven because I am intentionally undercover so that today we can do some investigative work about a local healthcare provider. Let's go. Look at this, very nice. We have a beautiful, large building coming down here to a large, beautiful atrium at the entrance. This is a sports medicine facility that's actually um, across the street from a large athletic facility that is used by various teams, including the high school uh, football teams. And it has an outdoor AstroTurf field, and it even has an indoor AstroTurf field as well. I mean, this place is amazing. I'm not sure if you can even tell, but it has sliding doors. These doors open so that the indoor and the outdoor spaces can actually be connected. Aha, here we get to the punchline. Now, across the street from where the athletic facility is, there is an urgent care center. And you can see down here, there is an imaging center as well. Aha, so here we have this huge building that goes all the way up there. And I can tell you something very interesting once I get back to the car about the imaging center at this particular facility. Okay, so what's the point? The point is, is that that imaging center has a different name on it than the rest of the entire sports medicine complex there. It appears to be an independent imaging center, and it is housed in this entire um, hospital system own sports medicine complex. Now I will tell you that that particular hospital system has the highest contracted rates for imaging for commercial insurance. It's like the most expensive game in town by far. Now, the financial assistance program for that particular imaging center is exactly the same as the financial assistance program for the major hospital system. Now that is not a guarantee that the imaging center is going to be billed through the major hospital system, but it's highly interesting that they have the exact same financial assistance program, which means that they might have some sort of back office financial tie, if that is the case. So why am I saying that? Is that whole entire complex done to create this, in, um, this incredible environment which to draw people in for advanced imaging for MRIs and CT scans, the fact that it is across the street from a sports complex that could potentially create injuries that would require imaging. Could this facility act as a referral center for the orthopedic surgeons and the orthopedic procedures to be done at this particular healthcare system, which tend to be high margin uh, services for and highly reimbursed by commercial insurance? So my point is, is that it needs to be inspected as to what is really going on. And so I wanted to bring that to all of your attention today to show the types of strategies that healthcare providers use to ensure patient volume and to drive services to their high margin service lines. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.